via SVS3000, UMO field devices can be visualized and their process values can be recorded. Using this software, a quick and cost-effective generating of applications can be implemented due to predefined objects. The user doesn't need any programming knowledge. Due to easy and intuitive operating concept, the system only requires a short training period for operating staff. Via comfortable search functions, the SVS3000 allows a fast access to batch and continuous reports. The software offers access to the process due to the online process visualization with many alarm and event messages. Ask for SVS3000 on CD. After installation of the software, 25 variables can be exchanged with the UMO field devices within a period of one hour. After this period, the communication with the field devices is interrupted. After the software is restarted, it can be operated for another hour. This procedure can be repeated as often as required. This video shows the connection of a DTRON 304 via serial interface and a logo screen NT via Ethernet as an example. Via the explorer, grouped mimics, DTRON 304 and logo screen NT can be displayed. Different set points can be defined for the controller. Process value, set point and output level are recorded in a trend. When closing the binary input 1 of the DTRON, a batch report is started. With opening binary input 1, the batch report is stopped. The prepared batch report is available in the report evaluation. The corresponding report can be searched and the trend display can be selected. Batch data can be added to the batch in the report evaluation. Data can still be entered via barcode scanner or by using different objects of the grouped mimics. The analog input signals of logo screen NT are displayed in a separate group mimic as online values. The DTRON is connected with the system via the RS485 interface. The settings of the interface are 9600 baud one stop it, no parity check, device address 1. In the example, PC and logo screen NT are located in one network. The logo screen NT works with a fixed IP address. If any further information about the connection via serial interface or Ethernet is required, please see chapter 3.2 and 5.3 of the technical book Digital Interfaces and Bus Systems. A download is possible free of charge. To get a general idea of the SVS3000 functions, instead of the serial interface, the PC interface USB TTL converter can be used. In this situation, the offered settings in the SVS3000 for a serial interface are used. Only the COM port number for the interface must be chosen in the SVS3000. Relating to the screen recorder logo screen NT, a IP address is defined in the device. Start the SVS3000. Without a connected dongle, demo version is selected. 
Using the function keys is helpful working with SVS3000. Press F10 and the login can be done. Press F11 and the parameter level will be started. By pressing F12 the configuration level will be reached. Alternatively it can be worked with the corresponding button. For the first login the user SVS and password SVS can be used. This user has the complete access to the software and can be deleted after defining further users. With the corresponding button, the start window of the configuration level is started. In the start window, the holding time for data recording can be defined. Data, which are older than the mentioned period, are deleted automatically. Under Data Storage Time, a time should be selected when the computer is usually switched on. Via Configuration, the configuration level is reached. The SVS3000 can be used in the local area network. The field devices are connected with the computer and are visualized on other computers via network. In this example, there is only one computer used. This computer, respectively the station, is installed as follows. Select New Station. A name and an internal name for this station is entered. For this station, further settings must be taken. Field devices which are connected to this station are allocated to a plant. So at least one plant is defined in the whole system. The plant gets the name OVEN1, internal name O1. In this case, the DTRON is connected via the first serial interface of the computer. The interface must be defined. Yumu devices usually operate with Modbus protocol in case of serial interfaces. The factory settings of the software is as follows. 9600 baht, no parity check, one stop it. If required, the settings of the interface can be changed. For all devices connected on this interface, the same settings must be defined. The field devices which are connected to this serial interface must be chosen under Device. The DTRON 304 is added. Device address 1 is selected to the controller. The controller is related to the plant OVEN1. For that controller, the functions must be defined which have to be accessed via SVS3000. Controller MINI is selected. This function contains process value, set point and output of the controller. With factory settings, the measuring range of process value and set point is 0 to 400. The range can be changed for the corresponding variables. Furthermore, the physical unit can be changed. Via binary input 1, the batch report has to be started and stopped later on. 
Therefore, the function binary input 1 has to be selected. In the menu Defined Reports, the settings for the batch report are done. The batch report is started and stopped via binary input 1. With selection of output, setpoint and process value, the values are recorded. For connection of the logo screen NT via Ethernet, Modbus TCP IP and the IP address of the logo screen NT must be defined. The analog inputs 1 to 4 should be recorded. The data are generated. The number of selected variables has to be in maximum the number of variables of the dongle. Otherwise, the SVS 3000 cannot be restarted. 16 variables are selected with the configuration. For initializing of the configuration, a restart of the SVS 3000 must be done. A restart is automatically offered by the SVS 3000. After restarting the software, a new login is necessary. via F11 or by the corresponding button parameter level can be entered. A trend display for Oven 1 with the process values of the Detron 304 are generated. Defining a name. Without zoom function, 5 minutes should be displayed in the trend display. Process value, set point and output level are added to the trend. The trend must be stored. A grouped mimic for the plant Oven 1 is generated. Defining a name as well. The controller is entered into the grouped mimic. The status of the binary input 1 and the trend should follow. The grouped mimic must be stored. 
generating a grouped mimic for the logo screen NT follows the same procedure. In this grouped mimic, the analog inputs should be displayed online. With the selection of operator level, the grouped mimics can be shown. From now on, the possibilities described under target of the video exist. Thank you very much for your attention.